you won't be surprised. because we're already quite behind schedule and the morning is early. The trade bill that was recently passed for the House of Representatives would move us exactly in the wrong direction, toward high tariffs and trade barriers, trade distorting subsidies that slow growth and shrink world markets, destroy jobs. And I would have no choice but to veto that bill in its present form. The administration has been working closely with the various Senate committees, as you know, to craft a bill that enhances prospects for U.S. exports, but we have some problems that we'll be discussing here today, and the United States cannot and will not allow itself to become party to a trade war. We must continue to go forward on a positive course, opening up markets where they're closed, working to expand world trade and the millions of jobs it creates rather than shrinking the global economy and sending millions out of work. End of statement. Thanks, Thank you. I guess you're the next time around. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? I guess you're the next time around. <laughs> 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 well, thank you for all coming down here today. On the other hand, I, in the evenings I've been getting upstairs in time to watch some of what goes on on C-SPAN and, and cable and all, and maybe you might find it a pleasure to get down here once in a while and hear what things are going. But uh, I thank you also for the warm reception of the policy lunch on Tuesday. I thought we might discuss more in detail today one of the items I mentioned to you at Tuesday's lunch, and that is the issue I just made the statement on trade reform. Returning from the economic summit, today, I know there was concern expressed by all participants at that meeting about the threat to the growth of the world economy resulting from restrictive trade policies. But we, of course, will continue seeking ways to open markets and expand trade opportunities. And earlier this year, I sent to Congress a comprehensive proposal to enhance your competitive or our competitiveness in the world market and to ensure our economic preeminence into the 21st century. And the House, as I've already said, has passed a trade reform bill, H.R. 3, and I've already said that I couldn't sign that measure in its current form. Now, I understand that you begin to debate shortly on the Senate trade package, and in some areas, the Senate legislation is an improvement over the House version, but there are some very troublesome provisions which will need to be altered or deleted in order for me to sign the final product. In just a moment, I'm going to ask Jim Baker, Mac Baldrige, and Clayton Yider to comment on these issues and 
and I'm anxious to hear from each of you as to the prospects for Senate action. But first, let me say again that I hope we can work together to improve this legislation. And I hope, likewise, that you would resist final approval of a bill that is not acceptable. And now, Jim, you, Mac, and Clayton will give us an overview. I'll then ask Bob Dole and his colleagues for their views. So, you're on. Mr. President. Yes. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. I'm very happy to meet you. Well, pleased to see you and to have you. Merci infiniment et je suis très 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 heureux de pouvoir être au président des États-Unis et rencontrer le président de la République. Extremely happy to be in the United States today and to have a chance to meet with you, Mr. President. Well, my pleasure also. So, this is here for one year. Is that what we're calling it? We know, uh, these are our, our own people and photographers, but there will be two waves of press entry. So we won't be able to get into much of a discussion until they're gone. We came to a gendarme and uh, stopped the car. By now I have remembered a few words. We gotta go, Brian. We gotta go. Percy. What do you think is going to the 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 
sent a letter. And the journal is taking under every situation. Why not? said in the few moments we had in the other room our congratulations on Chad's stunning defeat of the Libyan troops. The victory was a tribute to Chadian and courage and to the wisdom of your leadership in forging a national reconciliation and it's heartened other African nations as I've said their ambassadors there have told us and we're proud to have played a part and laid a foundation for a strong, long-term friendship with your country. We, we recognize that Libya will remain a threat to Chad and its bases in southern Libya and through terrorist acts. And we are prepared to support Chad's efforts to put Libyan aggression against Chad on the agenda of the 42nd General Assembly this fall at the UN. And we look forward to consulting closely with your United Nations mission on tactics. And we're, your letter to me, I recall, and you spoke of some weapons. We are pleased to be able to respond positively to your request for the tow anti-tank missiles. Unfortunately, as we probably learned in your meeting with the Defense Department, that uh, we, in short supply of the stingers, and so won't be able to respond on those. We've seen reports that because of his humiliation, Something that is not known widely about 
Ça peut-être pire. Well, when we were walking over, I brought up the subject of the anniversary of the bloodshed at Soweto in South Africa and the need for all of us to do what we can together to bring about an end to apartheid peacefully and have a peaceful settlement of that, that situation here. 